Hello, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Cricut Explore Air 2. I've talked about the other machines on this on our YouTube channel before, the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Joy. However, this is the middle of the line machine that Cricut offers, so it's probably the machine that a lot of people are going to be considering the most because it's at a pretty good price range and it offers a lot of a lot of features for how much it costs. So I'm going to show you a little, tell you a little bit more about this machine and why I like it. And hopefully it'll help you decide if it's the right machine for you, or if you just got, got this machine, hopefully it'll give you a few more tips about how to use it. First of all, the Cricut Explore Air 2 is in the Cricut Explore line. There's different machines. There's the Cricut Explore, the Cricut Explore Air, and then this is the Cricut Explore Air 2. The first machine I got was actually the Cricut Explore Air, and I love it. It's really a great machine. However, I didn't realize how much I would love the Explore Air 2 simply for one feature, and that's the two times faster cutting. The Cricut Explore Air has the technology that it cuts two times faster than the previous machines, and you can tell a huge difference. Sometimes I'll go back to my Cricut Explore Air and I'm just shocked at how much slower it is. This machine retails around $249, but you can usually find it on sale just on Cricut.com or at some of the retailers such as Michael's or Joann's. I've seen them as low as $179. They come in lots of different colors. There's sometimes limited release ones at different stores. Um, this is the Wild Rose and I love it. I think it's so pretty. So we have another video that kind of compares and contrasts this one against the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Joy. But like I said earlier, this is kind of the middle. It has a lot of it, it has a lot more cutting features and capabilities than the Cricut Joy, but it is lacking some of the features and robustness of the Cricut Maker. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you kind of work, you work with it. You just press the open button and it smoothly opens like this, which is really nice. Um, I've never had any issues with it sticking or anything like that. It has two tool holders right here. So that's the upgrade from like the Cricut Explore. Um, you it ha you can put the tool, the cutting tool right here, and then you can put a pen or a scoring tool in this blade or in this tool holder right now, which is really wait, right here, which is really convenient. It also has a little tool holder over here that you can store your blades, which I think is awesome. Or you can get the new um, tool organizer that Cricut just released. I love this. I have it. Most of these are for my Cricut Maker, but I also have a couple of my Explore Air 2 tools in here because I am always losing my blades. Uh, the Cricut Explore Air 2 has a dial over here and it features the most popular ma materials that the Cricut Explore Air 2 can cut, which is nice. So if you are cutting paper or vinyl, iron on, cardstock, light cardstock, bonded fabric, or poster board, you can kind of just twist the the dial to that and it'll automatically put the correct settings when you go into design space. However, if you're cutting one of the other 100 plus materials that the Cricut Explore Air 2 does cut, you'll put it on the custom. They actually took this off of the maker and one of the reasons was because people were feel they were feeling like people were thought they were limited to just these six or seven materials listed on the dial. However, this machine cuts so many different things over 100 different materials from paper and vinyl to fabric and felt. One thing about fabric though, is that you do have to have an adhesive backing on it or else it's not gonna correct, cut correctly. With the Cricut Maker, you can cut with the, with the fabric mat and the rotary wheel. So if you are a big sewer and you're gonna be cutting a lot of fabric, that might be something that you would want to get the Cricut Maker for instead. There's a couple different blades that you can use with the Cricut Explore Air 2. There is the fine point blade, which is right here. And that's great for thinner materials like a paper, cardstock, vinyl, etc., things like that. And then there is also the deep cut blade. I've actually been able to successfully cut wood with this uh, balsa basswood, I think about 1 16th inch th thick. I actually have a video showing how to do that. So it can cut through thicker materials. So it's better for thick cardstock, uh, cereal boxes, cardboard, poster board, and things like that. I really like the deep cut blade, uh, the, the deep point blade. So these are the two ones that you're going to get. There's also a font, a bonded fabric blade, which is basically just the fine point blade, but it's specifically designed for you to just dedicate it toward your fabric materials. It has is Bluetooth enabled. So you, that's really nice if you're working on your tablet or your computer, so you don't have to have it plugged in to, um, to in order to use it. I love using Bluetooth because I'm always on my phone doing my projects. 
Um, in addition to the tool holder over here, it has some good storage right here. So you can store pens or different kind of blades or scoring, scoring tools down here. So it's nice that it has that dedicated hidden storage. So you can really put a lot of things in your machine. It also is compatible with any of the Cricut cartridges that you may have gotten in the past or that you may have purchased from other people. So it has the adapter right here. So you just drop that in and then you can link it up in Cricut Design Space. And speaking of Cricut Design Space, that is how you do all your projects with the Cricut Explore Air 2. This line was the first uh, line of machines from Cricut that uses Cricut Design Space. But that is how you're going to design all your projects, upload your images and your fonts and different fun things like that. So it, there's a lot of versatility with it. You can use it with your computer. You can use it with their, app, their mobile apps. But this is a very versatile machine and there's not a lot you can't do with it. A lot of people do ask if they can use the blades from the Cricut Maker and the answer is no unless it's the deep, the deep point or the fine point which are compatible with these. However, you can't use things like the scoring wheel or the rotary wheel or the knife blade, those are all just for the Cricut Maker. So again, if that's something, if you're wanting to cut, like really cut wood well, um, or fabric or other thick materials, or you do a lot of paper crafting, you may wanna look into the Cricut Maker because they just have so many tools. Uh, they released a line just last year of great tools for paper crafting. So that's just something to consider, but this machine is quite a bit less expensive than the Cricut Maker, and it really packs a lot of punch for its price. In comparison to the Cricut Joy, it also it has a lot more features. It can cut more materials. It does uh, print and cut beautifully. One thing with the print and cut with this that is less, um, which is less awesome than the Cricut Maker, is that you can only use plain colored paper, so white paper, when you're doing print and cut. With the Cricut Maker, you can use patterned paper with print and cut. So that's another thing to keep in mind. But overall, this is a great machine. I use it all the time. I actually probably use it more than my Cricut Maker just because... I think I have it sitting out more and it does most of the materials that I need it to, you know, I'll pull out my Cricut Maker if I'm doing something thicker or I'm working with fabric. But overall, this is a great machine. I've had it for several years. It still works beautifully. I haven't had any issues with it. And again, you can buy it on Cricut.com, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, all of those uh, major craft stores do sell this machine. And a lot of people wonder if they can use this machine to cut or a lot of people wonder if this machine is sufficient for running a Cricut based business. And it totally is if you're mainly doing, you know, paper project, vinyl projects, things like that. Um, if you're wanting to do those thicker projects, maybe the Cricut Maker is better, but this is an awesome machine. It cuts fast. It works great with design space and I really like it. So be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I will link a post all that answers even more questions about the Cricut Explorer too.